Hello everybody, this is Amel with another interview preparation tutorial uh, to get your skills uh, to the next level so that you can get that coding job that you want to get and uh, so today I have this interesting problem, interview problem, the Pascal's Triangle. So given a non-negative integer known rows, generate the first known rows of Pascal's Triangle. So as you can see, this is the Pascal triangle. The first element in the Pascal triangle is always one in the first row. Then the second row has one one. But then, as you can see, um, in the Pascal's triangle, each number is the sum of the two numbers directly above it. So for instance here, two is one plus one. As you can see, two, this one here is one plus two, three. This one here, 2 plus 1, 3, 1 plus 3, 4, 3 plus 3, 6, and 3 plus 1, 4. So the input is an integer, non rows. So they give you 5, for example. So you're going to return a list of list of integer. So every, you're going to return a Pascal triangle with 5 rows. If they give you, for example, six, you're gonna return a Pascal triangle that has six rows. So as you can see, this one has five rows because the input was five. So how can we solve this problem? So in order to solve this question, we need to make clever observations. The first observation is that the first row of the Pascal triangle is always one. Another observation is that the first element is always one in every row and the last element is always one in every row. Another observation is that the, the row i always has i elements. So for instance, row one has one element, row two has two elements, row three has three elements, row four has four elements, and so on. So this is another important observation. Now, this is the most important observation. So, let me show you this. For instance, if we, if we check this number at position 3, 2, we can see 0, 1, 2, 3, the third row, 0, 1, 2, this is the element at position 3, 2. Then, this element is the sum of the element of the of the two elements directly above it the element of position 2 1 0 1 2 0 1 so this element plus the element of position 2 2 so the element of position 3 2 which is this element is the sum of the element of position 2 1 plus the sum of the element of position 2 2 so by, analyze, by analyzing this example, we can realize that we can derive a formula. We can uh, see that this is the general formula. So the element of position ij equals the element, the, the sum of these two elements. The element of position i minus 1, j minus 1, plus the element of position i minus 1, sub j. For instance, here, the element of position ij where i equals 3 and j equals 2 is i minus 1 which is 3 minus 1 2 j minus 1 which is 2 minus 1 1 plus i minus 1 which is 3 minus 1 2 j and j is 2 so we can use this to uh, every iteration find the corresponding element uh, in every row that is not the first and the last and with these observations I'm ready to show you how to write the code for this problem. So without further ado, let's begin. So I need to return a list of list of integer result because the value of new array list of integer. If num rows is less than or equal to zero, if the input is not valid or there's no rows then I just return the empty result then 
I'm going to use the first observation I made, that the first element in the triangle is always 1. So I'm going to make a list for that. List of integer, the first, gets the value of new array list of integer. First, the add 1, result the add first. So as you can see, now I have um, a triangle that has only the first row. Now I can check if num rows equals equals 1, I can return right now. I can just say return result and I'm done. Otherwise, I need to go for integer i gets a value of 2. i is less than or equal to num rows plus plus i. So I already have the first row, so now I need to start from the second row all the way to num rows. And every iteration, I'm going to get the previous row, that would be i minus 1, just because we need to follow this formula, right? So we're going to get the previous row, list of integer, previous row, gets a value of result.get, result.size, minus 1. So I have the previous row here. Now I need to make the the new row i that I'm working on, list of integer cur gets the value of new array list of integer. And now we're going to use another observation that I told you about. And the observation is that the number of elements in row i is i. So row 1, there is one element. Row 2, there are two elements. Row three, three elements, and so on. So because I have this one, this row, I need to populate it with the number of elements. And by default, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add one by default because you know the first element is always one and the last element is always one. So for integer temp gets a value of zero. Temp is less than i plus plus temp. that add one. Now that I have the row with all ones, I need to modify all the other elements that are now the first and the last. So for that I'm going to have another loop for integer j gets a value of one. I want to start from the second element. So for example in this row I want to start here and I want to end here. So j is less than i minus 1 plus plus j. All right. So now I just need to to follow this formula here. The element of position ij is the element is the sum of these two elements. i minus 1, j minus 1 plus i minus 1j. So I can say cur that set the element of position j is pref that get the element of position i minus 1, j minus 1, so that would be j minus 1 plus pref that get the other element which, which is this element position i minus 1j which is j and then I have my new row I can say result that add cur and finally a return result so now we're going to check if the output that I get is correct, run the code. As you can see the input is 5 and the output that I get 
one 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 two one all this output matches the expected output so my solution is correct now I'm going to submit my solution success the runtime is fast 0 milliseconds faster than 100% of Java submissions so as you can see by analyzing the problem by making clever observations we were able to find a solution to this problem so we noticed that for example the number of elements in row i is i and we took advantage of that information in order to solve the problem so thank you for watching this video uh, keep practicing uh, please like this video if you want me to make more videos like this one please don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you next time thank you